Guys, welcome back to my channel. Into the new season with Birmingham, second season in the Premier League. We just about survived the last season, avoid a relegation, but we did manage to win the FA Cup. So that's true. Uh, two trophies in the back following the win uh, in the first season of the playoff from the Championship to the Premier League. So now, big game against uh, Spurs. But be be before that, let's see what team we got here to work with. Oh, Afif is here, Baldini. I think Star Strike Hogan is gone and uh, Bellingham is there. Longalo 68, Romero 69. He's left back holding, uh, he's a right back. We definitely need to sign uh, centre back, uh, central defensive midfielder, central midfielder. There's the three. And, oh, and of course, if you can try getting the goalkeeper. Actually, last season, January transfer window, we didn't sign anyone. So. I think we didn't sign anyone, so this season we've got a chance to sign four players. And guys, to sign players, oh, we've only got 54 million. We didn't get the the big budget we get. You should be getting in the second season. Of course, we also won the FA Cup. We didn't uh, get any money for that. I don't think so. And uh, by the way, guys, let's go and check what players are available to sign. Guys, first summer signing of the season, 68 overall, Saleh al Sehri. He is going to be a rotation player for Baldini. 1 million is market value. Guys, second summer signing of the season. It is a big one, guys. It is uh, Nathan Ake currently playing for Fernabache. And we've got him in. Oh, how come my beard's gone white all of a sudden? It's only been two years. So Nathan Ake making his way into St. Andrews. Hoping to, oh, he's gone black again. He's handshake with the manager and holding. He's gonna be a key member to of the squad, but he's only man. He's only signed a two-year contract. A bit of disappointing, but anyway, we've got the star man. He had a lot of strength at the back, and he's whooping 82 overall. Good signing. We actually didn't really need a centre back, but we've got him. Good signing. Good addition to the squad. Guys, another big summer signing here. Josh Cooling from West Ham United, the Premier League player. We've got him from the Premier League rivals. He's doing his uh, fitness. Hopefully, he's fit to start against Spurs tomorrow. And uh, he looks fit, guys. He's going to be in the centre midfield area just behind Bakuna and Sicaldo. Guys, my new team looks like this. I've got some players. 68... Yeah, I'm going to take him off. Nathan Ake definitely into the team. Replaces Ak Abkar in the centre-back position. We need to really be signing a better goalkeeper. Oh, we've only got uh, one goal, two goalkeepers, by the way. 62. I'm going to replace him with the better one. 65 rated. A lot of players are leaving me for free, so I definitely need to work on contract negotiation. Yeah, so another goalkeeper is set to leave this season. I'm going to put him under the transfer list. One year, uh, one year, 11 months of Bakun. I'm going to have to offer him another contract. Hopefully he signs for Birmingham and stays for another couple of seasons. So guys, first game of the season against Spurs is a tough game. Chance for us to win another trophy with Birmingham City. And uh, third season with Birmingham, second in the Champions League, uh, second in the Premier League. And by the way, guys, we are in Europa League. But now, let's go for the kickoff. Guys, players are making their way onto the field on what could be a crucial Start to the season, a charity shield against Spurs who won the Premier League. We won the FA Cup, beating their North London rivals. Though they were cheering for us that day, but hopefully they're not cheering for us today. They won't be because we are not an easy team to beat. You might have seen our performances towards the second half of the season. We did thrash a lot of big teams. But now let's go to the kickoff. Oh, great stuff by Spurs. And oh, a bit of a deflection and bigger picks it up. Oh, Birmingham have lost it. And his son, Kane, shoots straight into the hands of Lazaro Martinez. Sorry, he shoots straight into the hands of the goalkeeper. Paddy's off a corner. Short corner. Son on the ball. Is he going to... Bring it in and all oh, great defending by Birmingham. He's got the pace, he's gonna cross it in. Oh, he, what is he doing? He shoots. Oh, what a save from the goalkeeper. An expert Khan looking at him, asking him to pass him. Great run by the Kuno, by the way. He has a short corner from Chong from a thief. Cross comes in deep and Baldini. Great save from the goalkeeper again. What a save. 
Baldini and blocked and Tottenham oh another great block Tottenham survived this comes in from Afivi chips it in this time and oh what's a save from the goalkeeper and chance for Rob Holding is he gonna cross it in his he shoots to the far post and keeper makes the save again oh what's a save again Another corner, and this is it, guys. Half time at Wembley. Spurs nil, Birmingham City nil. Two teams with a huge amount of pressure in certain times of the first half. Nil nil at Wembley. He beats his man. Oh, what a save from the goalkeeper again. First change for Birmingham. It is Bakuna. It's going off for Joe Bellingham, younger brother of Star Jude Bellingham. Oh, shot corner played by Spurs and keeper manages to parry a He found Bellingham. Is he going to score? Is he going to score? Shoot straight at the goalkeeper. Great save. Is this a chance for Birmingham? Chance for Baldini. Straight into the hands of Costa. Going to penalty shootout. Oh, no whistle blown. And now it is full time at Wembley. Penalty shootout is coming. The guy's chance to make or break. Here's a thief. Is he going to score? He does score the first penalty. And it is 1 nils Chance for Martinez to miss. Oh, he does score. Fantastic penalty. Which way is he going to go? And he wrong foots the goalkeeper. A bit of a Panenka son. Keeper should be saving. Oh, what is he doing? Goes right. Should be down the middle. And keeper makes a save. Scarlet. Oh, he scores for Spurs. Spurs lead after three penalties. Chong, is he going to score for Birmingham? He does. Keeper have to save from Guardiol. Oh, what a save. He's made the save. Bert Bellingham, chance to make amends. Oh, what a save from the goalkeeper. Hoiberg versus the goalkeeper. Is he going to miss? Keeper makes an astonishing save. Into the sudden death, Colin, new summer signing, misses the penalty. Is Tanganga going to score his? And he does Spurs win the charity shield. Oh, Birmingham took them to the wire. But it's Spurs day at Wembley. They win the trophy. We lost at Wembley, guys. Not the start we wanting, but still happy with the performances. Guys, press conference after the match, post-match conference. Tottenham were good. I could have asked for more. I couldn't, yeah, of course. They played well, but just the game has to be won by one team and Spurs won it. Guys, two defeats in the Premier League already, conceding seven goals. I bet Nathan Ake has not added anything to the defence. Chance to play West Ham here at St Andrews hopefully we can take three points and get our team off to the start so guys huge game in the Premier League at St Andrews Birmingham looking to get their first points in the Premier League three defeats in a row followed by a victory against Lincoln City but we are back in the Premier League hopefully we can get the first win chance for Afif is he gonna score is he gonna score oh what a block by the defender and West Ham clear Oh, what a turn, what a turn, surely 1-0 Baldini scores this time, Birmingham City 1, West Ham United 0. Oh, chance for West Ham and great block by Nathan Ake. And the final result, it is 1-0 to Birmingham to get the first points in the Premier League this season. Guys, we are in Europa League and look at the table, we've got a Porto and Atletico Bilbao. Bao and Malmo. Uh, a lot of people suggest I should be doing Malmo next. I've got Porto in the list as well, but a difficult group. First game of the uh, season in Europa League for Birmingham. I bet Birmingham fans watching you would be cheering on, say this is a dream come true. Into the first game against the, I think it's Swedish team Malmo. Let's go to. Oh, chance for Malmo. Oh, what's a save from the goalkeeper. Absolutely brilliant. Chance from Chong this time. He passes on to Gardner. Should score. What's a save from the goalkeeper? Oh, a chance. Chance. Should score. And yes, Birmingham have taken the lead. It is Bakuna. They open the defense. Splits open. And ch chance it was for Baldini. Passes across the face of the goal. And Bakuna scored unmarked. 1 0 to Birmingham. Oh, final result. And Poor start in Europa League. 
We've been beaten by Malmo, hoping to get the first three points and three goals conceded in the second half. Guys, another crunching game at the bottom of the table. Birmingham just with four points a draw against Southampton, a victory over. I'm not quite sure who we beat. Yeah, West Ham United, sorry, 1 0 we beat them. And then a draw against Southampton, looking to get another three points against Burnley to or a chance for Burnley. Are they gonna make it count? Team effort straight into the hands of Big Al. Bakuna finds Chong. And Chong into the box. He's gonna cross it and defend it as well. Bakuna shoots. They shoot another chance, another great ball block. Counter Manuel is beaten. Romero keeper should come out. And it is 1 0 to Burnley. Counter attack at his very best. Benson scores for Burnley 1 0 at St Andrews. Well, chance for Burnley and another goal 2 0. I think it's uh, Weghorst with the goal. He's actually moved to Hoffenheim in IRL, but he scores for Burnley today 2 0 at St Andrews. And the final result 3 2 to Burnley. Weghorst with the second goal, and Burnley leading 3 1. Bakuna added a consolation 3 points to Burnley. Guys, halfway through October and Another victory in the Premier League away to Brentford, by the way. Before we even go to the Porto game, let's go check the table. Uh, we're just in the drop zone. We're well, too early to call anything. We can definitely finish in. The, my target is from 10 to 12 position. 13 won't be too bad, but so we need to pick up more points. Guys, huge game at St Andrews for the first time. Well, actually, not the first time this season. They've already played at St. Andrews in Europa League, but this time it's Porto. They are playing Porto in yellow. They've got some great players I can remember, but where's uh, Pepe? He's not playing anymore. Let's go to the game. Oh, chance for Emmanuelson, and he scores for Porto. 1 0 at St. Andrews. Through the ball and split the defence wide open. Birmingham concede yet another goal in the Europa League and in this season as a whole. Birmingham defence is absolutely not as good as I would I thought with Nathan Ake inclusion at the start of the season. But uh, one 0 to Porto. Oh Baldini, a chance for Cullen. Oh another chance, Baldini. This time he hits the post. And Birmingham missed their golden opportunity. Are they going to get a better chance? They, yes, they do. It's Colin. Oh, defender comes back. Corner to Birmingham. Short corner is Colin. Is Baldini, sorry. He's taken his man on. Chance to pass it across. And Colin Boyer, sorry. Not the shot he was looking for. And Bakuna. He's got the chance. He's going to pass it. No defender. João Marcelo comes back and takes the ball away from him. Birmingham creating little, but they got the closest. Guys, another fascinating game in the Premier League for Birmingham. And Kunku is back after a slight injury. Oh, they've got Chiro Immobile up front. Mudrik, expert Khan looking on. Hoping to get another three points. Struggling so far. Two wins and a draw only in the first eight games of the season. Oh, he's gone and straight into the hands of Silva. And chance for Chiro Immobile. What's a save from the goalkeeper keeping his side. That's nil-nil. Oh, he does. Oh, what is he doing? He can't be doing skills there. Should be scoring. What's a golden opportunity for Birmingham City. Oh, and yes, Baldini scores for Birmingham. 1-0 here at St Andrews midway through the first half. What's a goal. Bakuna wins it. And Afi straight away lays off Baldini. Beats uh, Silva from close distance. 1-0 to Birmingham. Final result is 1-1 and Kunku with the equaliser but Birmingham gets an important point at, away to, at home to Chelsea. Good point. Guys, a fascinating game against Liverpool at St Andrews. Liverpool, uh, new look in Liverpool. Verratti in there, Chambers, Limand, all their defence apart from uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold still there. Midfield is uh, fully changed. They've got no Alisson, it's Kelleher, so hopefully we can beat their defence. It won't be as good as Van Dijk, 
and uh, Joe Gomez. Robertson's not there as well. Let's go to the kickoff. Guys, players are making their way onto the field in what could be a fantastic game here in Birmingham, St Andrews. Birmingham still in the bottom three. Nathan Ake, the new summer signing, has less impact than expected, but hopefully they can pick their wagon up and get three points today. They are in Europa League struggling to make their way into the knockouts. Probably easier way to get into Conference League. But now, let's focus back into the Premier League. Oh, it's Luis Diaz into the box and he's down. Penalty to Liverpool in the first 10 minutes of the game. And his boy he brings down Diaz. Great feat by Diaz, by the way. Penalty to Liverpool and Salah to take it. Should be a save, and he does save it. Oh, there's a trick to it saving penalties in this game, guys. And I just made a fantastic save again. Oh, chance for Liverpool, and Darwin Nunes blasted over the bar. Oh, great ball, and it's Chong. He's gonna pass it across the face of the goal, but Liverpool defense managed to clear it. Oh, Chong, what a run that is from Liverpool, Birmingham. Are they going to make him pay? Cross comes in. Oh, Hussey Duddy hits the post. Oh, final result. 2-0 to Liverpool. Mohamed Salah and Darwin Nunes with the goals. And Birmingham beats him again in the Premier League. Guys, we are away to Malmö, the Swedish team. But a big win at Old Trafford in the previous Premier League game. Let's check the table. Guys, we are just outside the bottom three, surviving by a point. Three wins and three wins this season and two draws. Leaves us with 11 points. Leicester, Leeds and Crystal Palace. Three huge teams in the bottom three. Guys, a must-win game against Malmo in order to get uh, ourselves in the Europa uh, Conference League uh, qualifying rounds for... for next year of course this year this season but next year let's go to the game uh we are away from home so we are going to be making no changes we've got no sub bench to actually make any changes and uh, malmo beats us 3-1 at san andrews let's go and take the revenge is romero passes it Cullen. oh great block out for a corner oh have they scored no offside is it? Yeah, he's offside. He's not going to count. He was offside the first instance. Oh, Bakuna's done well. He's gone past his man. Is he going to score? Bakuna! Birmingham take the lead in Sweden. Oh, what a run from Bakuna. The central midfielder takes his defender on, beats him. And halfway through the first half, Birmingham take the lead. Oh, great, great counter. And he's calling. Gardner, sorry, Bakuna, a chance for his second, straight into the hands of the goalkeeper. Oh, it's Bakuna, is he going to beat his defender? He does, he does. 2-0 to Birmingham City, and we're on the stroke of half time. Birmingham double the advantage. Oh, the final result, Birmingham... Uh, Mamo got one back straight after the kickoff. Afif got 3-1 up and Sedeo scored 10 minutes from time. 3-2 to Birmingham. Guys, the festive December of football is here in the Premier League. Birmingham have seven games to play and one massive game in the Europa League against Atletico Bilbao. But let's go to the game against Newcastle first and try beating them as well. Guys, a huge game at St Andrews today against Newcastle. Newcastle really pumping some oil money from Saudi Arabs. And they've got Will two Wilsons up front. I'm not quite sure if that's a glitch or what. They've got Murphy, Teas, Rabi Tanali. They've got strong midfield by the looks of it, let's go to the game. Guys, players are making to the making their way to the field on what could be a crucial game for Birmingham just outside the drop zone. Newcastle hoping to get into the Champions League football for yet another season. Let's go to St Andrews and let's go to kickoff. Oh, what's a turn by Baldini? Is he going to beat the keeper? And Dubrovka is beaten. First three minutes of the game. What's a start from Birmingham City? Oh, Baldini, great feet. He rolled the ball past the defender. Look at that trick. Defender again. What's quick feet by the Italian striker and 1 0 to Birmingham. Oh, chance for... Oh, what's a chance? And he just 
kicks it well wide of the target. Oh, Chance for Wilson, Callum Wilson, oh he taps it past the goalkeeper, keeper should be doing better from there, but Callum Wilson scores for Newcastle, Old Square at St Andrews, oh, Chance for, oh, what a chance, that was great, tackle, he got his foot in there, the defender, and rolled it to the goalkeeper, picks it up, it's Baldini, he's, oh he's beaten his man again, he has gone, he's past him, is he going to score? Great block by Newcastle defender, referee not seen any hand in there, Newcastle, a chance for Newcastle on the attack, is low check, and Callum Wilson, oh he's been given a penalty, Rob Holding builds, brings down the check international, and a penalty to Newcastle, or oh, a very soft penalty, holding, clutches into the tracker. Callum Wilson mobs the goalkeeper, and it's 2 1. He turned around the striker. Oh, he's on rich form this season. 2 1 to Newcastle. Oh, Colin. Oh, what quick feet. Is he going to score? Oh, he turns his defender, he passes it across to Baldini. Great save. Colin deserves a goal, and keeper makes another great save. Up for a corner. What a run from the youngster. Oh, Wilson, another great chance. Missed. Probably one more chance for Birmingham before the half time whistle blows. I feel not seen too much of him in this half against Newcastle. Here's a thief, he's into the box, he's going to pass it, he does, Chong wants a save from Dubravka and half time here at St Andrews, Birmingham had the chance but it is half time. Oh great feet, Mike Bakuna, he's gone past one, he's gone past two, he's going to go past three doors and shoots, what a skillful player he is, oh the youngster. Central midfielder, but he's playing like a striker this season. He goes past three defenders. One and two and three, of course, the goalkeeper. He taps it in. 2-2 two, two at St Andrew. What a solo effort from the number seven of Birmingham. Oh, final result is 3-3. Three, three. Murphy got the goal on the hour mark, but it's Ake who gets the equaliser, the all-important goal for Birmingham. They get another vital point at St Andrews. Guys, another fantastic game in the Premier League at St Andrews. Birmingham take on Leeds, who are a couple of points behind them, it seems like. And Birmingham have to be on their game, which they have been in the last few games. They beat Manchester United at Old Trafford, surprisingly, against all odds. They beat Malmo in Sweden and a big 3-3 draw against Newcastle. But a defeat to Brighton in the previous match. After this game, we go to Atletico Madrid in the Europa League, hoping to get a point and qualify for the Conference League. Let's go to the kickoff. Oh, Bakuna! Shoots from distance. Keeper makes an astonishing save and out for a corner to Birmingham. A thief in the corner and Burton's Leeds United do get it clear. He's come back to Chong. Here's Boya. Passes it to Gardner. Oh, he takes one man on. He takes another one. Oh, yes, he does. Shoots and blocked by the defender. Oh, great save by the goalkeeper. Chong with the corner. Akram a thief and keeper Dalo. Easy catch. Oh, they are up against the ropes at the moment. And team effort to be fair by Perkins. Easy stop by Bigham. Oh, Birmingham come away with three points. Afif and Sehri with the goal in late in uh, the 89th minute of the game. Three points to Birmingham. Guys, 16 games into the season. Birmingham three points off the drop zone. And still with four wins this season, three draws, bringing their total to 15 points. Leicester leads Crystal Palace in the drop zone. Not quite sure what is happening at the top of the table. Manchester City lead by six points. Arsenal six points behind City again. United and Wolves into the Champions League spot. West Ham in Europa League spot for next season. But a long way to go, guys. Chelsea, just... Chelsea, Spurs and Liverpool just in the top half of the table. Bright, uh, Brentford, Everton, Newcastle struggling in the second half. No points, no victories by Newcastle, by the way, since the, since the draw against St Andrews. Guys, huge game at St Andrews again against Everton this time. A thief got the winner. A thief, no, Sehri got the winner. He's not starting today. A thief got the 
big goal against Leeds United in the previous outing. Guys, a huge game in the Premier League, especially at the bottom of the league. Birmingham were well, not really bottom. There are three points off the drop zone. Every point counts in this part of the season, guys. Birmingham need any point, a draw or a win, and they can build their tally and aim to at least 13th or 14th position this season. Chong's been great. Everyone's been excellent, guys. I'm loving the Birmingham side. First few seasons were really tough, but this season they came the whole of the Premier League league they are by the way in the conference league earned uh, for uh, the match in january i think against fc Twente, the dutch oh chance for everton and oh what a save by the goalkeeper paddy's away for a chance for ivan Tony and great save again by the goalkeeper ivan Tony again he's really cross uh, claw, uh, causing trouble but easy save from the goalkeeper baldini beats his man He's got the pace he has, he passes across, and it's Bakuna with the goal, Birmingham do take the lead. Oh, great run by uh, Bakuna, and great feats by Baldini, keeps the ball, he's getting nudged by the defender, too strong for him though. Passes across the face of the goal, and Bakuna scores, 1-0 to Birmingham. Oh, 5-2, the end result. McNeil Davis Tony with the brace and Simon Simon or Simon late on. Birmingham defeated on what could be a crucial victory for them. Everton come back strong in the second half. Guys, a huge game at the bottom of the league. Birmingham take on Sheffield United. Are they bottom? I think they are. They've got 14 points as it looks like it. Let's go to the game. Oh, what a ball from Bakuna. Afif should be scoring. Shoots into the far corner. Six minutes into the game. Birmingham 1, Sheffield United 0. What a ball that was from Bakuna, by the way. And Afif was always on his bike to score 1 0 to Birmingham. Oh, chance for Sheffield United. Ake with the clearance. Not convincingly though, Bakuna again with the ball, great feet. Oh, Gardner, oh, what a pass. I thought the defender's going to get there. Bakuna again, Birmingham really playing with Sheffield United. Oh, they lose it this time. Oh, chance into the box. What a save again by the goalkeeper. It's... Oh, Bakuna, what a player he is. What's he going to do? Oh he, oh, he just shoots it wide. I thought it's in and what a chance for Birmingham. Let off. Let off by Sheffield United. They're lucky not to concede there. A chance for Sheffield United. Another chance. Oh, another stop by the ref, by the goalkeeper. And final result, yes, 2-0 to Birmingham. Big three points. Baldini with the sec uh, second for Birmingham. They managed to get a win again. Guys, we are in January and look at the fixtures. Aston Villa home, the Birmingham Derby. And then we've got a big game against Chelsea. And a tough trip to Liverpool in the round three of the FA Cup. But before we go to any of the games, let's go and check the table. Well, Birmingham are four points off the drop zone thanks to their victory over Sheffield United. Crystal Palace outside the drop zone. Top of the table, Manchester City, eight points off Manchester rivals, United, Arsenal Wolves in top four, West Ham, Aston Villa, Chelsea, Liverpool and Brighton, would you believe, all in the mixture for the race for Europa League.